All right, let's start inputting some notes here. Um, so I am going to input the trumpet part first, and I'm going to just put this right in here. This um, da, 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 da. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select in the measure. Notice that no matter what I have, um, it's always just going to assume that I want to put notes in. Uh, note flight is, uh, this is kind of the basic. So I'm just going to press an F right there. Okay, notice it's transposed. And it's in the correct octave. I can, I'll check that in a second. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the right rhythm in. So this actually guessed that I wanted an eighth note. I'm going to add a dot. You can add a dot there or you can use the period button um, on your keyboard. So it's F, G. Notice that it assumes that I want to have, notice I have these selected. So I can undot that. Um, and I can also also make the note longer or shorter using the bracket, those square bracket buttons that are usually um, to the top right of your keyboard. Um, or I can press the type of button I need up there. All right, so I want a 16th note. Now this is gonna assume that I want a 16th note. So I actually need it to be an eighth note. So I'm gonna use my right bracket to make it longer, okay? Remember, you can always adjust it up here or you can adjust it using some keyboard commands. So now that I'm in eighth notes, And then, okay, actually, I need that to be an eighth note. And then I'm going to have another eighth note here. So I can, if you click on the rest, it's going to assume that you want to drag the rest around. But if you click on the rest and then kind of float your mouse up and down, it'll actually assume that you want to make a note. So I need a tie. Um, you can use the tie. Okay, another tie. Notice that it made a new line for me automatically. You can force it to make lines, um, or uh, you can force it to squish everything into one line, or you can force it to make new systems. Uh, that's a little bit more advanced. We'll not do that right now. And then I want this. I'm gonna make it a little shorter with my bracket. I've inputted um, this whole line here, and you can, let's test it, make sure it sounds okay. All right, that sounds fine. So let's go ahead and um, edit it a little bit. I'm going to put these slurs in. Actually, let's go ahead and finish the notes with the piano. I'm going to just put a few notes in the piano, and then I'll kind of skip ahead here. So let's go ahead and put this first chord in. So to put a chord in, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add, but then I'm going to double click to bring the cursor back to where I was. So when you're inputting a note from a chord, I would say double click and then bring that cursor back. And then you can add, and you can drag individual notes around in the chord. Uh, you can also um, select a single note and uh, go ahead and put, let's see, I've got my pitch menu up here. You can uh, go ahead and select a single note and put like a flat on it, remove a flat, natural, remove a natural. Uh, and so if you wanted a courtesy accental, let's say um, you wanted to make sure your performer remembered that A flat, you could actually force the flat to appear. All right, so let's keep going. I have another chord here. I'm gonna select, click right here to get my cursor there and I'm gonna add And actually, that's the wrong note. I need that to be an eighth note. So, and I'm also, I also need that to be a note lower. You can use the down and up arrows to make a note lower. If you do shift up and down, it'll go chromatically. Um, and if you use command up and down, it'll do octaves. All right, just like that again. And then input. Notice that I have that chord right there. Uh, and let's go ahead and put in the left hand here. I'm going to... Notice that it automatically creates um, rests to go ahead and... Uh, okay. 
let's go in and now put some other items. All right, um, what I want to do first is I want to put in some performance indications. Now, there are no piano fortes or anything right here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that on Dante in. So that's a text item, and it's going to be performance text. So actually, notice that I pressed the performance text while this was selected, so it's assuming that I want to put performance text on this A flat. I do not. I'm just going to press, just going to press somewhere else to make that go away. I want to put performance text above that note. So now let's choose the performance text right here, and I'm going to write on Dante. Okay, press return. Actually, press return. It's going to think I want two lines. So there, I click somewhere else. I notice it's on top of the time signature or on top of the tempo. You can't really move the tempo. That's one of the things that um, Noteflight doesn't let you do. So I'm just going to put my on Dante right there. Uh, and I also want this to be um, piano. So I'm going to go ahead and click this note, and I'm going to choose this right here, expression text. So if I write P, press enter, it'll turn into a piano. Same thing here. Um, you can, whoa, that did not work well. Uh, so I can do command E, or I can select up there. So I'm gonna make this piano as well. Uh, a couple other things. Uh, notice that there's some articulation here. There's some slurs. So I'm going to, uh, do that in a different video.